Hello and welcome to the 13th video in this series introducing neural networks. So in this video then we're going to get started with the mutation code. I've already added into def.py right at the bottom two definitions. One is called mutation weight modify chance. That's the probability that we will, we will actually uh, modify a weight when we go to modify an array a little bit. That's 20%. And then the other one is when we create an offspring, so we mix two matrices of weights from two different neural networks, is the mix that we make, which in this case is 50%. So into ennet.py at the top, I've already added import random and in from defs import star, because we're going to add some code now into our neural net class. So we need two functions uh, and they'll be static functions. So class functions in this, in the neural net class for the, for the mutation that we need to do. One is we want to be able to modify an array. So this is where we make a slight change to the weights. And we want to do this based on this mutation weight modifier chance. So we'll call this function uh, modify array, which takes an array as an argument. And here we can make use of the iteration functionality in arrays of NumPy to be able to modify in place an array whilst iterating through it. So this is telling NumPy to loop through the array that we've supplied as an argument and have read write functionality to this array. And then we'll say that if a random number between zero and one, so a random float, is less than our mutation weight modified chance, then we will replace the weight in the array. So we say that if random is less than this, then for the particular entry in question in the array, let's generate using NumPy a new random number and subtract minus 0.5 from it. So we've got a new weight in the range, minus 0.5 to plus 0.5. What we also want to be able to do is get a mix from two arrays. So when we're creating a child, we want to be able to, from two neural networks, create a mix of the weights between the inputs and the hidden, and also the weights between the hidden and the output. That means we need a function that we can supply two arrays to and return the same sized array as the two that were supplied, but a, an even or a mix of the weight of the values of each based on this percentage here, which is 0.5, which means an even mix. So to start this function off, we've got get mix from arrays, array one, array two. First thing we do is get the total entries. And I'm assuming here that the size of both of these is the same for the rest of the function. Of course, you probably might want to put a test in there to check that. But we get the total number of entries irrelevant of the dimension of the array. And then we get the number of rows and the number of columns as well using uh, the shape property of an array in NumPy. The next thing we want to know is how many do we want to take from the first array? In our case, it's 50% of the weights, but we want to know how many. So if you imagine that we've got an array size of 12, then we will want to take six. And we want to calculate that using uh, the mutation array mix percentage that we defined in defs.py. So the num to take in this case, like I said, if we had an, a total size array in that was 12 would give us then six. And you remember that we looked at this np numpy.random.choice where we can say from a long list, we want to pick uh, a random selection of indexes. So I'll call this one idx and we use np.random.choice. So we say from our total entries, which is 12, we want to take, select a random, so that'll be naught to 11. We'll select a random, which is none to take, which is six if it was uh, from 12 and replace equals false. So we get uh, unique values out of there. And so IDX will be an array of six entries, which will have six random indexes from our total in entries. We'll test this code in a minute when we finished writing it. So I'm just going to print index to the console here. We can remove that later on just so we can see. And now we want to create an array that we're going to return. So in this case, we'll have an array that's exactly the same number of rows and columns as the two rays that come in as an argument. And all that remains, and there are lots of ways of doing this, I've chosen to do this in uh, the most verbal way possible, so it's very clear, is to iterate through the array and replace the random values we've got in res with uh, either a value from array one or array two, depending on whether the index is in this index here. So to do this, we loop through the rows and the columns. What we want to be able to do with this loop here is we have a two-dimensional array, but we need the index, which is one-dimensional equivalent. So we'll make a one-dimensional index, which is, I'm sure this is quite clear, the row times the number of columns that we have plus the current column. So in the case of the first row, which is index zero, it would just be the column. In the case of the second row, it would be the column index 
plus then one multiplied by the number of columns. But that gives us then the equ equivalent one dimensional index for our array. And now we can say that if this index is in ID X, then we'll take the value from the first array, otherwise we'll take the value from the second array. And what that does then is create an even mix of randomly selected values from each of the arrays. And the last thing to do then is return res and we've managed to create a mix. So we've got two key functions there, one to modify an array randomly or select random weights to modify an array. The other one is to get an even mix of values from two different arrays. So before we move into writing a little bit of code just to test and demonstrate how those work, I want to add a couple of more functions to an actual instance of the neural net class. The first one is when we have a neural net and we say, please modify my weights, then we'll use this static instance of modify array here to randomly modify a few of the weights for the input hidden and the hidden output. So that's what we'll use when we say that we're going to take some, I think it was the bad birds and just modify a few of the weights here and there randomly. That's what we'll use. And the other function we want to do is when we're creating an offspring and we want that offspring to have as its weights a mix of some other neural networks, then we'll have another instance method which takes two neural networks as arguments and then this instance will have its input hidden weights and its hidden output weights uh, created as a mix from those two networks which were sent in. So that's finishing the code then that we need to add to our neural net class to get things up and running. What I'd like to do is quickly demonstrate how this works. So down the bottom here, I'm just going to drop in the if name equals uh, main, and then we're going to write a, a quick tests function. Now you don't really need to do this yourself. It's just for a demonstration effect. And the code of course um, is on GitHub, but here I'm just gonna drop the test function and explain what's done. We create two arrays here, uh, random arrays between minus 0 0.5 and plus 0 0.5 of size three rows by four columns, so 12. Here we print out the size, here we print out the first array, and then we modify that first array and print that first array. I'm going to add a, an empty print in here just to make a space. Then I print the first and second array again and then ask to get a mix of those two arrays and then we can see the mix just to see how these functions we've written in this video are working. So going into the console then, let's have a quick look at actually running this in net.py and have a look what we have. So first of all, we can see that the IR1 size is 12 and we can see that AR1 is how uh, contains these values here with its three rows and four columns. The first thing we did with AR1 then was modify this modify array where we want to modify around 20% of the values in the array. So let's see what we get then out. And we can see, for example, the 0 0.085 here has changed to 0.272. The, the 0.25 has changed to minus 0.22. That's the same. This one here, the minus 0.27 has changed to 0 0.066. So you can see that some of the values in the array have been changed. So this, uh, this modify weight seems to be working. And the other one is to see what we get as a mix. So we have array one and array two here. Here we can see the random indexes, the six indexes that we selected that we wanted to take the values from array one. And in fact, if we looked at the, if we look at the mixed output, the first index here is uh, six. So in array one, that's not, one, two, three, four, five, six. So that should be the point one, two, nine, two. You can see that's here in the same position. Then we've got we've got an 11 here, point three, four. The point three, four is there. The five is there, which is the minus 0 0.22. So you can see that we, from this random index selection we made, we picked all the values from array one. Otherwise we put in the values from array two. So we created a random 50-50 mix from those two arrays. Good, so that's it then for this video. Uh, we've got uh, the functions written that we need inside the neural net to go out mixing our values. The next step is to go into the bird class and start setting up the evolution functions in there to generate new populations from these functions here. So hopefully that made some sense. Uh, we're nearly getting there now. We're ready, nearly ready to set the game doing its own automated learning. Thanks so much for watching, taking the time. Comments, criticisms, welcome as always, and see you in the next one.